Are you serious? Are you serious? Folks, there is reports uh, of predictions. Now, again, these are predictions. This is not news coming out of Moscow or out of the Kremlin on Vladimir Putin. But there is predictions by Byron Wine that Vladimir Putin will resign um, in the coming, well, this year, I believe is his prediction, it may be sooner. I mean, what I mean by that is it may be within weeks instead of months. Uh, he says also in the IB uh, Times, he says lower oil prices will continue to worsen Russia's economic crisis and prompt Russian President Vladimir Putin to resign. Noted analyst and former Morgan Stanley senior strategist Myron Wine has predicted that the declining prices of crude oil will ultimately lead to Vladimir Putin's resignation from office. According to Wine's forecast, as reported in the Bloomberg reports, oil prices will drop to $40 a barrel before recovering to $70 a barrel, of which is still killing the Russian ruble. Wine says the oil slump will force Iran to roll back its weapon program. And in the credit market, great buying opportunities will be created because of energy, lower energy prices, which I did a video about this yesterday about Wall Street and how that Wall Street, it doesn't matter what Wall Street, the oil prices will not affect Wall Street, but they will lie. The, the, the media will lie and say that lower oil prices is creating a lower market. It's, the, it doesn't, it's not true at all. Lower oil prices is due to higher productivity of oil through fracking technology in America. America is pumping out over 12 million barrels of oil a day. We have now producing more than Saudi Arabia. The, the flooding of U.S. oil into the market is driving the prices down, killing the Russian ruble, killing uh, Vladimir Putin's ability to leverage the European Union. Because the European Union nations now don't have to buy their oil from the pipelines flowing out of Russia, they can buy it from the surplus oil supply coming to them from the United States. It also kills Iran and the uh, Muslim monarchy kingdoms of the Arabic nations in the Middle East from getting those war prices they've been getting for crude oil, and, as, and it's going to cut into their ability to fund their kingdoms. This is a huge situation developing. So I look for more radical Islamic terrorist attacks to continue uh, because there, uh, there will be a sense of urgency to try to stop not only the United States oil production, which is driving prices down, but it's also crippling the radical Islamist ability to gather funds to fund their operations. It is going to, uh, this is very, very significant. Now, as far as Vladimir Putin's concerned, these are things really out of his control, to be quite honest with you. This is out of his control. And uh, the internal pressures, there was already thousands of people protesting outside of the Kremlin just a week ago. It was hardly even reported by Western media. I don't even know if Western media even did. Uh, I reported it, and of course, Stephen Bendenun who was in Czech, he was in Prague in the Czech uh, Republic when this went on. He watched Vladimir Putin's live New Year's Day address with his wife on television from the Czech Republic, and she speaks fluent Russian, and she interpreted for Stephen Bendenun what it was that Vladimir Putin was saying, and he was quivering, and he was calling on all Russians to get ready to defend the homeland because of what uh, appears to be a, a souring economy. And I mean, it is the sanctions put on by the United States and the European Union is killing Russia. And so Vladimir Putin may be just a victim of the circumstance here. And, um, uh, you know, he's just caught in the middle. So anyway, continue to watch what's going on right now. 
um, Vladimir Putin may be on the ropes in weeks instead of months, uh, and we'll just have to wait and see how this plays out. Uh, pray for all of our brothers and sisters in Russia because they're wonderful people. Uh, certainly they need our prayers. Many of them are the body of Christ. They're very strong church there, very faithful, and they need our prayers in these very trying times. I'm Paul Begley. Something biblical is going on with the signs of the second coming of Christ. Are you serious? The bear is wounded. The bear is wounded.